okay uh, so we will uh, uh, look uh, to the installation of ranger okay so i'm doing the installation and configuration using ambari okay so we have a cluster uh, build using ambari okay so i install my cluster on an amazon aws which is a single node instance okay so uh, we will uh, check what are the prerequisites uh, we need to do before doing the installation so as you know we need to create a database uh, user and uh, and we need to grant whatever the required privileges because uh, ranger is using any relational database for uh, storing uh, some it, its local data so we need to have a local uh, uh, relational database available and uh, second is jdbc or OD jdbc connectivity driver we need to install and also we need to uh, set up at the ambari uh, level so that uh, this uh, it has to point a correct jdbc driver path okay uh, so we will uh, check that and uh, in the uh, installation and uh, uh, configuration part we have uh, this many uh, things to do okay so i'm doing that one by one so first we need to make sure uh, MySQL is installed or not. So if not installed, yum iPhone Y install. So okay, you, you can use any of any database, MySQL, PostgreSQL, or Oracle. So I'm using uh, my MySQL. MySQL iPhone server. Okay, so it is already installed fine. So I'm connecting to MySQL database, MySQL iPhone U root. Okay, so I connected to the root user. So now I can uh, create uh, the user because it is expecting uh, one user to be created inside the database. So which is Ranger DBA, and uh, we need to grant all the privileges to that user. So I'm executing this from the Cloudera documentation, whatever the thing mentioned in Cloudera documentation, one by one. Okay. So next, grant privileges. Okay. Okay, so here uh, the username is Ranger DBA and the password is also the Ranger DBA. So we need to remember this thing when we are doing installation of Ranger. Okay, so I'm mm, granting all the privileges to this user. Okay, so with the grant option because this user may uh, have to create another uh, user account. So we need to give the permission with with the grant option. Okay. So then uh, flush privileges. So that everything will be in uh, sync. Okay. So we have created a user Ranger uh, DBA and with the password and uh, given whatever the privileges. Okay. So I'm uh, just uh, exiting from here and uh, see uh, uh, can verify whether it's uh, working or not mysql iphone u ranger d b a then iphone p it will ask for password oh. uh, so mysql iphone u okay fine uh, i think uh, some word some type of oh uh, this was the type okay now i i'm able to uh, log in with uh, this user okay so which is having a full uh, privileges okay so one uh, part of prerequisite is done the second uh, prerequisite is i need to make sure uh, this driver is there mysql connector jar file so this is a jdbc driver so we can execute this command oh this is also already installed so no problem so but i need to get this uh, path okay and check whether this is available or not yes that is there okay so next thing i need to do here is ambari server setup command ambari server iphone okay so this command equal to mysql this is the database and uh, this path jdbc driver equal to so whatever the path okay so ambari server setup iphone jdbc iphone db equal to mysql and 
okay so done so that part also done so now uh, we will uh, go to the umpire page and uh, start the installation okay so here i can just add service wizard then so we will check the ranger service where is ranger yes the ranger okay okay so it is asking okay so we have a mysql yes done uh, uh, you must have a db client so that is also done this part also done okay so i'm okay with this so i'm just doing next okay uh, here the host selection option so ranger user sing and ranger admin so i have only single node so that is there so i can click next and uh, from the client side also i don't have any option so ranger tag sync is there so click next okay uh, so now uh, it is showing uh, something in uh, red so that means uh, some some of the uh, configurations are missing so we need to handle that okay so we will check that okay so here it's asking for okay what is the ranger uh, uh, admin okay so here so database and what are the host host i can choose so whatever the host which i am using okay and uh, okay so here i can uh, give a ranger admin uh, password so i can give any password here okay and the next uh, is uh, our admin okay so here instead of root so i can use whatever the uh, username i created here okay it's a ranger dba okay so password is also the same so then i can uh, do a check here okay so we need to make sure like uh, the, that connectivity is working fine so this will create another uh, this user okay whatever the uh, database and user it will create okay so that part is done then uh, we have a ranger audit part so audit to hdfs is there by default audit to ranger okay solar cloud we can turn on okay so again uh, we have an option like uh, external uh, solar cloud or internal so this is uh, this has taken by default okay so it will uh, use the zookeeper because this is using internal solar cloud that is solar cloud from ambari infra okay so i'm selecting the default whatever the password everything and then uh, okay there is nothing uh, in the red so the later again i can uh, reconfigure if required so i'm just clicking next okay uh, so now uh, review uh, has come so i can click uh, deploy so then it it will start installing uh, ranger in our system okay so it will take a uh, few minutes to finish the installation okay so we can get the status from here so i'm just pausing this recording for a while okay uh, so the installation is over so just click next Okay. Okay, because uh, so once we uh, did the ranger installation, so some com uh, you can see some orange circle here. So that means so these services need to be restarted. Okay. So I'm clicking here, restart all required. So it will uh, restart whatever the required components. So after that, everything will be back to green. Okay, uh, the service is getting uh, restarted. Okay. So 
it will take uh, some time to uh, finish all this uh, restart okay so i am pausing uh, this recording for a while okay uh, so now uh, sir so services has restarted so ranger is here okay so everything services are in green so now the next step is uh, we need to uh, enable the plugin for ranger okay so before that we can just uh, log into the ranger console okay so you can get from here quick link so you will get a login page like this so the default credentials are admin admin okay okay so it will take uh, it is taking some time to uh, initialize okay so we will uh, check what are the configurations we can do from the ranger side okay here uh, if you click on the configs okay so let me go back to the ranger page still it's uh, loading okay uh, so you will be getting a page like this okay so we have we can integrate uh, ranger with hdfs hbase hive yarn nox storm solar kafka and atlas but uh, here if you look uh, by default uh, nothing is uh, enabled so for that for enabling so you have to go to the ranger so configs then here you have option called the ranger audit or sorry ray not uh, audit so ranger uh, plugin so you can enable whatever the plugin you want so hdfs yarn and hive i am enabling those three okay because i don't have other components installed so storm atlas or kafka installed so i i enable those uh, plugin so this is very simple go to the ranger config then a ranger plugin and uh, just turn on that by default it may be in the offset save that configuration hdfs and yarn okay so there are some dependent uh, configuration so I'm okay with that so okay, it will change those uh, parameter so once uh, this is save uh, this is saved so there may be you may need to uh, restart uh, certain uh, services because this configuration has to mm, affect because here you can see that orange circle so you can uh, restart all required so it will uh, restart the service whatever the services which is uh, needed okay so it is asking for a confirmation so whether we want to yes restart all okay so now uh, here you can see uh, it is going to restart uh, some components so mainly the hive MapReduce, yarn and hdfs so it will take some time okay so the restart has uh, done successfully okay so now again uh, so we can uh, log in back to ranger so now uh, you can see the plugins uh, enabled for uh, some of the services and we can see that for hdfs yes hive and yarn okay so we will be managing the permission by using this okay uh, so we will uh, check uh, one uh, simple hdfs uh, uh, case here okay so i have created one user called sigish so which is uh, part of a user co uh, group called hd hdp admin okay uh, so uh, i'm switching to that user okay so if i type hdfs dfs iphone ls slash okay fine i have a read access uh, suppose i'm using slash abc i just want to create a directory under slash i uh, saying uh, okay so this is all uh, see here it's access denied so i don't have the permission under slash 
suppose I want to uh, give the permission to users from this group or only for this user to slash directly so I can do so we have we can open uh, HDFS here then uh, what uh, we can do is all path okay so one is already there so we can just edit that or else uh, we can uh, uh, we can uh, create a new one also but already existing is there so that it won't accept the duplicate so or or okay so here you can it's for whatever the groups or whatever the user is part of this so i can add my username here okay so whatever the privileges then saving it so now this user if again if i try to uh, create that here uh, okay so earlier it was taking some time to uh, synchronize uh, whatever the ranger policies with uh, Hadoop so just a few minutes I waited then it is working so earlier I was not having the permission so uh, I mean uh, so this user is added to uh, full access uh, privilege uh, suppose I have uh, another user say I call the dev one or okay so these are all uh, developers so for developers suppose I want to create a new directory under slash and will give full access to developers what I can do is uh, okay see this I I have full access now so I'm creating a create directory HDFS DFS hyphen MKDIR slash developers okay so it will create a new directory under uh, slash okay uh, see if, if I type HDFS under slash so it will list that directory so suppose if I switch to uh, dev1 ok so it's asking for password ok so dev1 uh, HDFS DFS hyphen ls slash Okay, so because the most of the time the read permission will be there by default uh, but the people won't be able to write okay suppose uh, this user touch abc dot txt suppose if this user dev1 want to upload some files or if we want to create something inside the developer one mkdir developers the one see here access denied message is getting okay so I'm I will go to the ranger and add a new policy okay so here policy name is uh, mandatory so I can uh, write the policy name so policy for developers and the path is slash developers okay so recursive yes on okay and then audit logging yes description developers access and whatever the I can add a group also as well as the user also so group means that uh, if I add developers groups whoever is part of that group will get this permission and again I, I can uh, uh, change the permission read it execute so or uh, all permission I can okay so I'm adding that uh, policy here so now uh, we may need to wait uh, a few seconds to update this okay so now it's done so if I execute this command here yes uh, it's getting uh, the permission denied error but uh, if you wait uh, for a few more seconds so it will uh, update so that time you won't get that error yes uh, now it's working because uh, this error is because of some uh, delay uh, in uh, synchronization so you if you wait for some time then uh, the ranger will update its policies 
so now this developer one is able to write inside uh, this directory suppose uh, if I switch to uh, developer 2 okay so I'm switching to developer 2 and trying to create some uh, directories here uh, see for dev2 so he will also be able to write there okay so all these things then using uh, the policy so you can add policy change the existing policies or delete the policies okay so this is how uh, uh, this ranger uh, policy will work so hdfs you can control the access by using that the second uh, we have a hive uh, policies also okay so in hive you can add a policy like again you can uh, restrict then policy name hive database whatever the database available and it's it's a table or udf is a defined function or table so again the column level is also there if it is not required include or exclude then uh, we can add so that uh, it will uh, restrict the permission of user to view on by on viewing databases or tables or all those things okay here we have permission what are the permissions we can do okay so this way we can control the hive access similarly the others also and another thing uh, another main important thing uh, i mean uh, feature with uh, ranger is auditing so we can do audit like uh, whoever is accessed and what are the um, i mean so when did they access and who access all this information okay and there is an option called uh, searching option also there so here we can search okay suppose if i want to change check whatever the uh, changes made by a particular user service name or user then the one okay see if i uh, again i have a lot of n number of uh, filtering conditions starting date and date client ip then what is the type of the service he access everything okay so but, but if i i just selected the user and the one then it will show whatever the mm, access this user dev one has made okay so uh, then you can see the denied again in the search option then uh, access uh, result uh, somewhere uh, resource type the result equal to denied so if you want to uh, just uh, show that denial message for this particular user uh, this one will give or else suppose if you want to uh, get all the denial messages for all the user then a result equal to denied whatever the denied messages okay so these are the user who tried and access denied okay so you will get all the uh, access related uh, uh, logs I mean audit uh, can do audit from here okay then again uh, so we have uh, uh, whatever the policy changes and everything it will be here in that admin session okay because here uh, user admin user has made some changes some create update so here I have created the policy here I have updated okay so that also will show and again the login session uh, will also be there okay so when uh, when the user access all this information will be here and this is about the whatever the plugins available okay so here we have a uh, option to search uh, whatever the access okay again uh, searching is there so we have uh, different uh, filtering conditions to do that okay so uh, if you if you want uh, audit is there and access manager is there from access manager so we can restrict the access uh, for the users or the services okay so we have uh, enabled for hdfs hive and yarn I hope uh, this is uh, clear and uh, okay so I'm uh, stopping this uh, video thanks for watching and this is Sajish here